How many of you wish you knew what the narcissistic person's plan was in your life before you ever got involved with them? How many of you wish you knew the strategy that they would use against you? What would you be willing to give to understand that strategy? Well, listen, you don't have to give anything. I'm going to give it to you right now for free because there is a strategy that all narcissistically abusive people use in this life. It's the blueprint from which they operate out of. And yes, they all operate off of this strategy. It's a three-step strategy that I'm going to share with you. Why do you think it is that you can watch video after video on YouTube and it's as if somebody is speaking your life? It's because everybody's experiencing the same thing as you. At some place in their life, they're in one of the three strategies of narcissistic abuse, trying to understand it. And I'm going to give you all three right now. What can you do with this knowledge? Well, number one, you can better understand what's happened in your life. This can help you on your healing journey. Number two, it will better prepare you for when you come in contact with another narcissistically abusive person. And make no mistake about it, there are plenty more out there. And you will come across another one. But when you know the plan and you know their strategy, you know their blueprint of how they operate, you'll be protected. You'll know how to stop it. You'll be fortified against them. Let's get into the strategy that all narcissistically abusive people use. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I do continue, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. Down in the description box below this video, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. No matter where you are in your life dealing with a narcissistically abusive person, no matter where you are at any stage or any strategy right now being used against you, I am here to support you. Head on down there. Schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. You do not have to go through this alone. We'll resolve this together and we'll get you to safety. In addition to that, I do have a coaching program. My coaching program is live and in person each and every day. So if you're looking to join a community that is moving forward in 2024, eliminating the toxicity of narcissistic abuse together, head on down there and join the Roby Coaching Program. And by the way, if you join right now, I am giving my custom handmade artwork that I have designed for the Roby Coaching Program. My finger painting. That's right. I've finger painted this and I will give it to you. You can put it on your telephone home screen and look at it. It's a constant reminder of who you are. You are the royal we. Now let's get into this. Three strategies. This is the blueprint of all narcissistically abusive people. All of them. Three strategies. They operate from a three-step playbook. The first one that we're going to talk about is to steal. Everybody say this with me. Narcissistically abusive people, their first desire, their first strategy, their first step is to steal. And when I say steal, they come into your life to steal. I'm not just talking about taking your outward possessions only because they can do that. They can come in. They can move into your houses. They can ask you for money. They can take your money. They can steal sex from you. They can steal. They have ways of taking. It's stealing. But not just do they steal outward things, but they're also working to steal inward things. They want to take possession of what you have, not just outside of you, not just externally, but internally. They want to possess not just your money, not just your body, not just your property. They want to possess your temperament. They also want to possess your attitude. They want to possess your faith. They want to possess your joy. They want to take everything that you have in this life. How do they do this? And this is an important part of understanding the strategy. This begins, by the way, in the love bombing phase. There's something called mirroring. How many of you have heard the term mirroring? Yeah? Most people don't talk seriously enough about mirroring. Mirroring, copycatting. If you're not careful in the beginning stages of a relationship, you can look at this as being endearing. 
Like, oh my gosh, they're saying words that I say. Oh, they like everything that I like. What's really taking place when you are with an abusive personality, a narcissistic person, and they're mirroring you, which you can seem to be endearing, is they're taking you. They're mimicking you. They're copying you. And inside of the narcissistic person, they're etching a version of you. They're learning you. It's almost as if a narcissistic person is like an empty robot. And they are. Now, I'm not going to get into why exactly they need to steal you. This, this is a topic for another video. Perhaps they're insanely jealous and envious people. And that causes them to want to be just like you. Perhaps they are soulless, as some people suggest. There are some videos out there, people who talk about, I believe it's NPEs, non-player entities. Basically, just soulless beings, black holes, no creativity of their own, no true wants and desires of their own. They simply move and scurry along this life looking for people to leech off of. Energy vampires, as they suck the energy out of you, as they take your mannerisms, as they take your joy, as they steal these things from within you and bring it into themselves. And they start saying the words that you typically would say. They start acting in the way in which you would act. They start to become a version of you in a creepy way, like they're skinwalkers. Right? How many of you have experienced this? Steal. So the first strategy of a narcissistic person in someone's life is to steal from them. And they creatively steal by getting involved, by love bombing, by mirroring. This begins the stealing process. You look at it as just sharing with them. No, no, no. They're stealing. They're taking. So that's stage one. That's stage one of the strategy. Now, once they feel they have stolen enough from you, once they believe they have taken enough of your attitude into their life, of your joy, of your possessions, of your belongings, of your creativity, once they feel they have stolen what they need in order to fill themselves and feel whole, if they can ever feel whole, the next strategy is to kill you. And I know this sounds harsh, but it's true. You see, they steal, and the next stage is to kill. They kill you. Because with you out of the way, they're no longer threatened by what they have stolen from. The only thing now that stands between them getting what they want and the world is you. Because the only other person who has everything that they now possess is you. And now they need that out of their way. They won't be threatened by that. This goes into the, that old saying, you know, this town ain't big enough for the two of us, right? That's their mentality. Their mentality as they look at you is, now I'm you. I have mirrored you. I have copied you. I have taken everything I want from you. Now I just need you out of the way so that I can exist. This is stage two of the narcissistic person's strategy. Make no mistake about it. There are many narcissistically abusive people, psychopaths, sociopaths that will physically kill you. Happens all the time. To get people out of the way, to get people out of their life, whatever. But if they cannot physically kill you, many people, narcissistically abusive people, will kill you with their words. This is where they get into demeaning you, devaluing you. Now that they have absorbed and have stolen a lot from you, they understand how you operate. So now through neglecting you, through demeaning you, through insulting you, they now can kill you while maintaining the good things that they stole from you. Does this make sense? 
They have stolen things from you. Now they need to get rid of you. So they will demean you, insult you, bury you essentially. And they are trying to get rid of you. They want you gone out of their life. Like I said, most narcissistically abusive people are cowards and they don't want to spend their life in jail. We do have a justice system that they are aware of and they're not going to get away with physically killing you. Typically, nobody does. They spend the rest of their life in prison. But a narcissistically abusive person will say, if I can kill this person enough to get them out of my life or to make them ineffective, I'll do that. So they use their words to attack you, to insult you, to tell you that you're no good. This, is, by the way, is very confusing. Because while they're telling you that you're no good and you're lame and you're, they're insulting you and criticizing you, they're doing it while acting like you. Weird, huh? Not so weird when you understand that in order for them to take over who you are, you must be gone. You must be diminished. You must be demeaned. You must be criticized. You must be insulted. You must be buried. You must disappear. Your whole thing, your whole presence, your whole aura must disappear. It has to lessen in order for them to shine through with what they've stolen from you. So that's strategy number two. So first they steal from your life, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Stage two is they kill you verbally, if not physically. Stage three is to destroy. Steal, kill, and then destroy. This is where they destroy your reputation. This is where they want to cut all of your connections out from you. They destroy everything that you hold so dear. This is where they're reaching out and contacting your friends and your family members. They're befriending them, telling them how strange you are. They're contacting your work and your job, trying to get you fired, trying to get you in trouble. They're telling your friends something bad has happened to you. They're doing everything to destroy everything that you once were. All of your connections, they want to destroy that. It's not enough that they just kill you. They next need to destroy. Because destroying, completely destroying all of your connections, destroying everything that you have built up, that's getting rid of all of the remnants of who you once were. And it allows them to take on your presence, to take on you that they stole and become you, the only you. It's weird when you think about this, that narcissistically abusive people, again, whether they're driven because they're soulless or they're driven because they're envious, that's for another video. All you need to understand is that one way or the other, they are driven to take you, to possess you, to become you, then to kill you, and then to destroy everything that you have built up to get rid of everything about you. Because they, they are the new you. They want to take everything over. All of your connections, all of your friends. Because if you still have those connections, by the way, if you still have that job, if you still have those family members in your corner, if you still have those friends that they know, then you're not gone. You're still there. In their minds, you're still a threat. You're still in competition. Even if you don't want them in your life. You having those relationships, you having that job, you having those connections is still a threat to them because they can't completely be the new you. And so they seek to destroy that. So there you have it, folks. This is the strategy and the blueprint that all narcissistically abusive people use and operate from. Steal, kill, and then destroy. By the way, this isn't new. This is straight out of the ancient literature of the Bible. John 10.10 10. The thief, or the devil, comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. That letter from Jesus was for you. It was for me. It was a message 
so that you and I can protect ourselves, so that we know exactly the plan, so that we don't allow people into our lives who want to steal what we possess and then try to get rid of us and then try to destroy what God has given us. This has been the blueprint of evil since the beginning of time. And make no mistake about it, narcissistic abuse is evil. And you've been touched by evil by being involved with this. As I said before, I'm here to support you down in the description box. You'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls, video calls, FaceTime, Zoom. It's all available for you. Head on down there, schedule that time with me. In addition to that, I do have a coaching program. My coaching program is live. So if you're looking for a group-centered program where you'll also get my free custom handmade artwork. Whoops. Guess I better uh, get this on here so you can see it, right? Head on down there. Get registered. I'd love to see you in class. If you're new to the Royal Weed, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button, the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal Weed. Before I return, be sure to check out one of these videos right here. The YouTube algorithm has selected these videos for you because it knows what you've been watching. And I'm sure these videos are going to help you out in your healing journey. Check these videos out and much more to come right here on the Royal We. Bye.